Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Super Fruit Studio and welcome back. Um, today I am doing uh, day 12 of December Ember and we are going to attempt to do the Kintsugi Houses. Um, as a disclaimer, this may be a total disaster, and I may end up not publishing it at all if it doesn't go well. But, I'm a true believer in just going for it and doing things live and seeing what happens. And so, I'm going to try to hold, through, uh, hold to that today and see um, if what I have in my mind works. Um, continuing to work in my journal, um, which kind of has the bird, butterfly kind of theme, this one. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, I did the Halloween Mints Christmas. And so today we're going to try this house. And I know this is a little big for my journal, but I think I can trim it down and make it work. I wanted to give myself a big enough surface to work on to try this technique. So basically what um, the process is, is it's a Japanese technique for um, how they put ceramic or pottery pieces back together when they got broken and they would line the cracks with um, gold and put it back together um, kind of embracing uh, the breakage rather than trying to disguise it and so what I have done is I have printed this digital two times and one of them I cut out just the house part here and then tore it up into pieces. And my thought is that I can paint all the edges of these with my folk art metallic pure gold and then put them back together like a puzzle on top of this one to make it look like I've repaired it, in theory. So, the first thing I want to do, though, before I paint around all the pieces so that it can be drying, and in order to tie everything together, I think I want to paint a few of these little berries gold so there'll be some gold in those as well so I'm gonna do that first and then kind of set that to the side to dry it shouldn't take too long and then I will paint the edges of all the pieces I have just a really small um, brush here it is a round, it says, I can't even read it, it's so small, I can't read what that says, 4136 round, okay, alright, and I'm just going to take some of these little berries that have that darker color to them and just put a little bit of this gold paint on them just to kind of carry that shimmer out to the berries Not a lot, just a little dab here and there. And 
I'm going to rotate my paper around as I'm doing it because I'm left-handed and I don't want to drag my hand through my paint. So how is everyone today? I am freezing today. I've got my little heater on up here. Just to kind of knock the chill off a little bit. Not a fan of cold weather at all. Okay, I think that's got them all. Yeah, I don't know if you can see how well that is showing up. Oh, I missed these over here. No, I didn't. Okay, so we're going to set that aside, and I'm going to start painting the edges of my paper. And like I said, guys, I have no idea if this is going to work or give the look that it's supposed to have, but we're going to try it. And I'm just doing the torn edges. I'm not doing the cut edges. And I also crumbled it up a little bit. So uh, we can also maybe do um, some of those creases. I'm going to get the edges first. And I probably could have taken a little bigger brush for this part, but I knew I had to have the little bitty one for the berries, so we're just going to continue with this, and I know this is tedious, guys. feel like it's gonna take too long I'll speed this part up oops it's not exactly on the scene but we're gonna go with it anyway Like I said, totally experimental at this point. may not even be able to get the dang thing back together once I do all this. <laughs> I started to do just one single copy, you know, one did one printout of it and I was like, there is no way I'm gonna trust myself to be able to tear up one and put it back together.
Oops, there again, too wide. Wipe my finger off before I have that everywhere. So have you guys ever tried this? Are you planning on it? I watched Barbara's video from, not from this today, but where she, she actually used this process before in a journal that she made. And 49 dragonflies. So, see who I'm referencing. If any of you are interested in going to find, watch that video. One more after this one. That wasn't too bad. I don't know at this point if this is going to be a dramatic enough look. I think I have all the torn edges. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and get these dry and then I will come right back. Okay, I'm back. I have everything dry. So now let's see if we can put this back together and make something out of it. I'm going to use my glue stick because that will give me some playing around time to make sure that I get everything all lined back up. And I'm going to start with the little hole in the middle since Maybe I should start with the roof. I'm starting to get nervous already. See that? I'm like, ooh. All right, so I think this piece goes here. Okay, let's put that down. See, that's why I wanted to use the glue stick because I wanted to be sure that I could get everything lined up.
Otherwise, my house isn't going to go back together. Okay, so this piece is here. This piece is here. So far, so good. This piece goes here. This piece is there. Well, I did the outside edge on that one. I didn't intend to do that. here. Two more. Let's do the piece that goes around. So if this one goes here, then this one goes around him, her. So let's do that one first so I can get it around the beak. Why? Why? 
why I'm not doing that upside down. No. Oh dear. I'm wanting to slide. Last one. Alright, that's not bad. Not bad. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll take my brush and um, some of these pieces that have little white marks, I'm going to take some more paint and kind of cover those up. Now that I know where my cracks are. And I suppose you could just paint cracks. And give the same kind of look. but it wouldn't give you the same texture. Okay. We might do, if there's a wrinkle right here, And I know you can't see these on camera. satisfied with that and I'm wondering do I need to outline the whole thing now because I've got that outline there I think I will just to kind of give it a more finished
look. There's a crack right there. A wrinkle. I wish I could find another wrinkle in this part of the roof. I felt like I, I feel like I left that too much together, but we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. So can you see when I kind of reflect the light that way? we're looking at there is one like right there Finish that one off. Okay, there we go. There's my attempt. I think it looks pretty good. Yep, I like it. I like it enough to probably never do it again. <laughs> uh, that's, a, I'm kidding, of course. It's actually um, a pretty cool process. And I could see it being um, really nice on a big piece, um, like a Victorian floral or something like that. I think it would be really pretty. I don't know about on the house, but I'll be curious to see what the other makers do and how theirs comes out. But yeah, there we go. 
Um, tomorrow is, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Magical Creature. So we'll see what we can come up with that tomorrow. And um, we'll also have a Wednesday Grunge Play tomorrow. So hope to see you then. Everybody have a good evening. Bye.